Hey everyone, Micah here from WPMU Dev and host of the podcast series, Hello WP. Being able to access the server that your website's data is stored on allows you to manage or make changes to files as needed. Say for example, you want to create a child theme or make changes to the WP config file or save your site from the dreaded white screen of death. All of this and obviously a whole lot more can be done via FTP file transfer protocol or SFTP secure file transfer protocol. And that's what I'll cover in this video. In three steps, I'll show you how to access your site's files with an FTP slash SFTP client. Note, I'll focus mostly on SFTP as we prefer its security, hence its name, Secure File Transfer Protocol. All of these steps are the same for FTP except for the port number, but we'll get to that later. First, install an SFTP client. Second, create or get your SFTP credentials from your host. And third, enter said credentials in said client. There are several free SFTP clients out there, like FileZilla, Cyberduck, and Transmit. For this video, I'll use FileZilla. To download FileZilla, go to FileZilla-project.org. For Windows users, click the Windows Only button. Everyone else, click the All Platforms button. If you do open and begin to install the bundle version of FileZilla, you'll be prompted to install additional quote-unquote special offers from their partners. You do not need these in order to use FileZilla or SFTP, so do not install them. For step two, we need to go to our site's host for our credentials, which includes the host address, a port number, and a username and password. My example site is hosted on WPMU Dev, and like some other managed WordPress hosts, you can create your own SFTP credentials from your site manager. Quick side note here, if your hosting provider doesn't allow you to create your own SFTP users, they can provide you with automatically generated credentials. Alright, so once I'm in my hosting dashboard, I'll click the manage arrow by my site. From the accounts tab, I'll find my host address on the left and the port number on the right. Our SFTP port number is 22. If your hosting company has an FTP option, the port number will often be 21. Next, I'll create an SFTP user by clicking Add User and SFTP User. Here, I'll make a username, copy, or create my own password, choose path restrictions if I don't want a user to have access to particular files, and the environment, i.e. production or staging. And boom, you've got your credentials. Now open your SFTP client, put in your info, hit Quick Connect, and you're in action. You can also save your sites for quick access later on by clicking File, Site Manager, and inputting your site's info. For more information about hosting, visit the link in the description. And don't forget to create a backup of your site before making any changes. Good luck!